Well, morning everybody from a beautiful, warm, mild Dunedin. Just down right here at the Harbour Basin. A few people out fishing, salmon fishing out here. And um, shortly I'm going to be doing a guiding and driving job for Monarch Wildlife Cruises. I'll try and get some little snapshots of uh, my driving today. I'm going to be going to some uh, inlets around the uh, other side of Harbour Cone and uh, out to the peninsula. So um, get some some snapshots of the day anyway. But uh, I'll talk to you guys again shortly. So just a couple of the uh, buses in the fleet for Monarch Wildlife Cruises. This is a 2000, sorry, 1994 Toyota Coaster automatic and these are actually powered by the uh, 4.2 litre Toyota Land Cruiser engine great little bus very reliable workhorse and a little bit further down here we've got our Mitsubishi Fuso Rosa this is a 2011 automatic with sequential manual shift as well and this is uh we're leasing this from uh, go bus in Dunedin uh, another good little bus for Mitsubishi's and we've got a uh, Try to high ace here as well. All right, guys. I'll uh, see you again soon. Oh, me again, guys. Just uh, changed into my strip for the day and uh, found my little bus for the day. Today I'm driving a 2011 Ford Transit 12 seater, six speed manual. It's a little puddle jumper today. But uh, good wee buses these. Two thousand and ten, actually. Stand corrected. But uh, good, good little vehicle for what I'm doing today, going around some of the gravel roads, around the inlets. Just got the uh, cab area here. Setting for 12. But uh, yeah, they go very well. So um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, guys, we've just got a couple of passengers here having a look around Larnett's Castle. And we've got uh, two more people to pick up um, in about 10 minutes. So this is Larnett's Castle, New Zealand's only castle, built in the 1870s by William Larnock. It's a mansion built in the style of a castle. But uh, just the silhouette of the castle with the light we've got at the moment. And some of the most beautiful gardens in Dunedin. But um, we just parked up here for about 10 minutes and uh, then we'll carry on our journey. Okay guys, I'm just out here at the Albatross Colony. I've dropped my passengers off. We came via some back roads around some, through some tidal inlet areas. Um, I didn't have the film going for that part of it, but uh, I'm now heading back empty, so I'll leave the camera on for a while as we go back over the high road. But uh, we are just out here at the Royal Albatross Colony. Um, of course, the only mainland Albatross Colony in the world. Here in Otago, on the Otago Peninsula, but um, we're going to make our way back into town. All right, passengers, uh, passengers dropped off, so uh, making our way back into town. Um, so we'll get some nice footage as we're driving along the road. 
road here, we're uh, making our way into the Otago Peninsula, right at the very end of the peninsula today, and uh, all the way back into Dunedin City. So I'll be on the low road as far as uh, the village of Portobello, at which time I'll then divert up onto the high road, which will take us right back into town.
get Dunedin out the front there now as we make our way towards the city. Off the uh, high road. back towards uh, our base building so I'll sign off just for the moment and I hope you've enjoyed the drive we'll see you very soon okay guys back at base now just parked up the wee transit full transit minibus could be a vehicle actually, uh, 2.5 litre turbo diesel with a 6 speed manual transmission. And uh, yeah, did well over the high road, only had 4 people over. Uh, oh sorry, 4 people on the vehicle. Can take um, up to 12. But we're just back at uh, Monarch Cruises base building here. That's not a real albatross. But uh, that's me done for the day, so um, I'll sign off and I'll uh, Catch you guys next time. Cheers.